Hello and welcome. In this episode, we will deep dive into the story of how some gear that was intended to use for this instead came to create this. This is deep dive into Acid House using Korg Volkas. The Acid House genre, I would say, gradually evolved from Chicago House simply by replacing the regular bassline synthesizer with a more squelchy and tweaked bassline. A clear step here was, of course, the release of Acid Tracks by Future in 1987, and the main components of Acid House was drum machines, the bassline synthesizers, some samples and vocals also occurred in these productions. And the main thing actually with Acid House is what we call the acid sound, this tweaked bassline that has made the acid sound so famous. Also, this sound has not only been used in Acid House, it also has been used a lot in Acid Techno, in Acid Trance, Acid Breakbeat, and it's still relevant today and, and used in a lot of electronic music. This sound has more or less been centered around a single piece of gear, the Roland TB303. However, you could create this acid sound using almost any analog synthesizer that has an analog filter that has the possibility to set a high peak level, high resonance level. Uh, for example, uh, a really early track called Washing Machine sounded like this. Uh, but that sound was actually created on uh, Juno 60. But what came to be the dominating sound was the Roland TB303. And why was that? So in order to understand the acid sound, uh, we must first turn back the time to 1981, when the Roland TB303 was released, together with the TR606. These two was intended for hobby musicians or one-man bands who wanted just uh, some drums and bass lines to play their main instruments uh, with. However, it was not a commercial success in the beginning. Have we heard that before in the context of Roland equipment? So only like 10,000 units were ever produced of the TB303 and then it was discounted and sold out cheaply. And it was yet again picked up by a lot of underground artists and bedroom producers. And then basically they started jamming on these and came up with the acid sound. But as I said, you, you could have created this acid sound on many synthesizers with similar possibilities. However, there are some things that actually are quite unique with the TB303 in, in regards to how you can edit it. So let us first um, look into that and demo it using the Korg Volca new bass. Your typical baseline synthesizer would have been equipped with a single oscillator. So we will turn down the volume completely of the sub oscillator, so we only have one oscillator playing. Uh, secondly, we have the analog voltage control filter, where we can control the filter cutoff and the peak of the filter. And then we have the filter envelope, where we can set the basic parameters, intensity, attack and also decay. So if we listen now to how it sounds, typically it was intended to sound like a bass guitar or something like this. So what was done by the Acid House pioneers was that they first created a patch using the pattern sequencer. So we can access the pattern sequencer by fun selecting funk and rec, so we are in step rec mode. Then we can add up to 16 notes. So what was quite unique with the baseline synthesizers was instead of a portamento, I could add slide to individual notes by just selecting here where I want slides and not. And that gave a lot of new possibilities when programming. Uh, also, I can edit transpose. So I can choose just to transpose 
some notes to uh, one octave up. Also, I was able with the baseline synthesizer to select where I can place my accents. Then what created the actual acid sound was that you used your peak control and by increasing that the filter accentuates certain frequencies much more than the others. And then we could also play around a bit with the filter envelope, increasing the intensity for example. And now we have basically created the more classic acid house sound as acid house would have sounded in around 1987. Uh, what happened next was that you could connect your baseline synthesizer through a distortion. Uh, conveniently enough, Vulcan New Bass has a built-in overdrive. So when I apply the overdrive, I get this sound. And what I like to do is actually to put accent on all notes and then increase accent to maximum. Then I basically maximize the sound out from the Vulcan new bass and then I get a really heavy acid sound. Oh yeah, now we're talking. The next element is gonna be the drums from the drum machines. For this I will use the Korg Volca drum and the Korg Volca beats. And that's about it, I will only add some drums since I would like to keep this acid house track kind of basic, raw and old school. The drum sounds I have programmed is a kick drum, also a high pass filter noise and then also a cowbell sound. So I will add the kick drum like this and then the high pass filter noise on top of that. Then adding the cowbell. And on the Volca beats I have created a patch using the toms and a hand clap. Then I can also add a closed hat, open hat and some claves. And now everything together. So those were the drums. Now let's put it all together for our acid house jam. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no,
So, that was it for this time. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please feel free to subscribe, like or leave a comment. And the next episode will be Detroit Techno, so you do not want to miss that. So, until next time. Ta-ta!